Uh, my name is Chelsea Mack, and I am a May 2017 graduate of Regents School of Law. Uganda is one of the countries with the highest rates of child sacrifice cases um, in, in the world. And the reason why it happens is it's a ritual thing. It's all connected to witchcraft, um, witch doctors. Sometimes these witch doctors uh, who try to go undercover, I guess you can say, as these traditional healers, um, they will sacrifice humans and children because their belief is that uh, children's blood and, and different body parts are the ones that can really please the gods or please the spirits. in order to basically get a profit, um, it's, it's a prosperity um, benefit that they get. So, so either their business is gonna prosper, wealth is gonna come to their families, whatever the case is. Um, so unfortunately, children are the most vulnerable. Um, and in some cases, as I've learned, um, it's actually the parents who sacrifice their own children. Right now, there's no official law that addresses child sacrifice, it's just um, addressed under the umbrella of human trafficking, which doesn't quite allow um, the, the office to prosecute it correctly. Um, and so therefore, um, there's many cases where many uh, suspects who we know are involved in these cases, they, they're they allowed to kind of go um, on in their own freedom rather than being put in prison. Um, Chimpanzee is a group that um, for about, I think, nine, ten years now has been helping um, on the forefront of helping victims of child sacrifice and families of victims of child sacrifice. Um, and so they have me here to kind of be a liaison between the two because many times the cases are brought to Chimpanzee, but Chimpanzee is not a legal entity. Um, and so they kind of need the government. To, to step in and you know take over the case and prosecute. And I've met many of the victims, um, whether through Champezi or other ways, and um, a lot of them have a lot of hope, um, but it's still, they have physical and mental and emotional scars that um, unfortunately will never go away, so. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because child sacrifice is not something necessarily that came to law school for, not to sound cliche or anything, but you know, from the Bible with Esther, just thinking, um, you know, I was born for such a time as this. I mean, this might be the moment that I can step in and help. Um, just being able to see some of these people's faces and seeing some of the cases that we've been able to help over the years and seeing some of these victims that have become world renowned, even in the center's eyes, um, is amazing. So yeah, just take a chance on the center. <laughs>